I will now show you how to group the documents that we have added, how to group them uh, so that we can uh, start interrogating uh, our, our project uh, according to variables. Now, new updates of the software that will be released will uh, will allow you to start interrogating uh, your documents across variables. So let's see. Uh, here I see documents that can be grouped according to the year. So let's go here on the bottom left. Left, you will see a plus sign. Add group. And now let me let me create one for the year 2007. Oops, I misspelled that, so that's fine. I will now rename it, okay, like that. So now we have the list of the documents. I select those that correspond to the year 2007 and I drag and drop them to the left side, to the left panel, to the groups panel. Now I see that the the, the document uh, group year 2007 includes three documents. Now let me take a look at this again, and I will create a new a, a new a new group. And this in this case I will call it uh, year uh, 2008. And let me see here year 2008. And I will I will select the documents that correspond to that year. Oops, let me do this again. And I will drag and drop into the left side. And I made a mistake. There you go. Okay, now I will do this again. One, two, one, two, and oops, there. And there you go. Now here you go, and you drop this three documents into where it says year 2008. So three documents in 2008 and three documents in 2007. So normally you would group your, your, your documents according to demographic variables and other variables as well. Those are the variables that characterize your documents in their entirety. So as I said, uh, new uh, upgrades of the software uh, will be incorporating different analysis tools that will allow you to, to, to interrogate your data across these variables. So thank you for, for that and, and now I will proceed into other uh, into showing you other aspects of working with Atlas TI for the Mac.